How to write an invitation letter for a US visa. Not sure how to write a letter of invitation to visit the USA? Choose this template to create the document, then send it to the invitee. Please, follow the link in the description to open the document form. Now, you can start to fill out the form. Begin with your first and last name at the top. An example met DAC. Next, enter your current address, the same address as mentioned in your ID or driver license. Address Line 1, 123 Example Street, Unit 1. Address Line 2, New York, New York 12345. Then, type your phone number, 111-222-3333. An email address you own, inviter at example.com. Choose your document date. Now, please enter the embassy consulate name, let's say, US Embassy and Consulates in Mexico. The consulate's address line 1, 321 Consulate Example Street. Address line 2, New York, New York 12345. Next, add up to three invitees you are planning to invite to the USA. I have only one invitee, so I write here an invitee's name, John Doe. An invitee's date of birth, the 1st of January 1975. Passport number, 12345678. An invitee's status, adult. Scroll down to the document end. Under the text, sincerely, need to enter your first and last name, met DAC. In the notary section, please retype your first and last name again, met DAC. Good job, your document is ready. Check your personal information one more time and click to the buy button. Proceed with the payment to download and print out the document from your computer. Before the final step, you need to notarize your document. Be sure to keep the original copy of the letter for your records. For your convenience, please use the online notary service by following the link idispute.org slash online dash notary. Important, the person whose signature is being notarized must personally appear before the notary at the time of the notarization without exception. Finally, send the invitation letter by mail. But, if you are busy and don't have time to drive to the post office, you can mail a letter online. No more trips to the post office, no worries of social distancing, save time and do it online with lettercarrier.org. Important, you can keep a document copy on your computer, but it's better to keep a hard copy of the one you sign and send. Always keep a copy of the document, certified mail receipt, payment receipt, so you have a record. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Looking for a particular document form, kindly leave a comment below, and we will consider your request. Thanks for watching.